When you don't already know how to code, the idea of learning how to code seems really daunting and elusive because you have no idea where to start. So we're going to break down what some of the easiest beginner friendly coding languages are, what they're used for, and how you can start learning them for free. One of the most common applications of coding is to build a website. And to build a website, you use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript which sounds overwhelming because it's three different languages, but let's break it down. HTML is what you use to build the basic bones of a website. For, so for example, my website has an image at the top, then some text, and then some buttons, and then some more stuff. So HTML can do all of that. Then once your website is built with HTML, you can add CSS to your HTML document to style the website. So this would be things like adding a background color, setting which fonts you want to use, stuff like that. Then if you want to get really fancy, you can add some JavaScript to define how you want your website to behave. For example, when you're online shopping and you want to see an enlarged image of the product without leaving the main page that lists all the products, you press quick view and that pops up with an, a bigger image and an add to cart option. And then you can keep scrolling. That's done with JavaScript. So if you want to create a website, you need to start an HTML document to define what the content of the website is going to be. Then you need to add CSS to that document to make it look exactly how you want to look. And then you add JavaScript to the same document to define how you want the website to act when users do certain things. To learn all of that for free, I highly recommend W3Schools, which is actually where I learned how to create my website. On W3Schools, start with HTML, then CSS, then JavaScript. Now, if that sounds like too much and you only wanna to have to learn one language, this is why I would recommend learning SQL or SQL. SQL is the language that data analysts use to select data and do calculations with. It is without a doubt the easiest coding language because there are only about 30 different commands you can do with SQL. I think SQL is the best coding language to start with because it is the easiest and it gives you the concept of what coding is. So if you wanna learn another one, it'll be a lot easier. Now with SQL, what you do is select data from multiple tables, calculate averages, really basic stuff like that. And if that sounds easy, that's because it is. The reason that people don't learn it is because it sounds hard because it's a coding language. Now I'm running out of time, but if you wanna start learning SQL for free, check out my free course, which includes all my recommended resources across the internet, plus the order to do them in, and my LinkedIn tips and resume template, all for free.